we interrupt this level. Try and find the stupid code. Oh, there it is! It's getting easier and easier to hack into Abstergo's mainframe. It's like I know what data I'm looking for. Like I've already lived it. Okay. Unlock the file! Okay. We'll use the powers of the mouse on this one. Not, okay. Leading the young to their end. There's photos and photos and photos, basically. The flames which strike poke out their eyes. Gun. Oh, I see it there. This monster did not come from man. The apple. Okay. All right. Where were we? Oh yes, uh, revengeance. Vengeance and other things. An official. Okay. Well, you're dead now, buddy. Maybe we can start running around here then. It's somewhat unlikely we're going to kill the guy here. That's good. Give me that box. My uncle's going to be fine, guys. It's... He's going to be fine. That's all there is to it. Everyone's gonna be fine. So, uh, Revengeance, Ezio isn't the cyborg ninja. Yet, yeah, no, he is. I think you're just not. Look, give Leonardo da Vinci a chance and he will be. Everyone will be. So, okay, can I leap off that bit? Thank you very much indeed. That's very kind of you, game. It's just like, no, no, I like this. I like this wall. Checkpoint's been reached. Hey!
it's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. It's like He's these are all the bad trouble. guys. Just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we've finished. Now, is there anything else? Yes. Muy bien. The Who's that standing. jumping up the sky? Ezio, Adore, Da Prenze. Comandante, move the spike out. What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Yeah, well, I don't know what happened there, mate. It's um, absolute mystery. Oi! It was very nice of you to just wait there while I did that. Hello. Um... And I, I can't un... Oh, appar apparently I did use that. Oh, you have come down here. Okay. I was trying desperately to get the medicine to work. Fucking bye! Oh, what a kill! <laughs> what are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? 
I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? A pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che pro... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Well, Take this. he did. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. He did. Let us return to the villa. He very dead. What goes around? Let's return to the villa. I mean, if you insist. Oh, I'm returning to the villa whether I like it or not. I suspect. Life belt has been acquired. Codex page has been acquired. The ability to move has been lost. Very knife skill has learned. I've had the belt. I've had the knife belt for ages. They just not be allowed. Just not allowed me to use them. Yeah, that's more like it. Right, animus control system. Blah blah blah. Come, amici. We heal up. Uh, you look. I kind of wanted to grab more than that. Well and recover. Sweet recovery indeed. Can you uh, sweat on me armor, boys? Uh, we can get those greaves too. No problem in buying that as well. More weapons, knife, dagger, throwing knives. Give me all the throwing knives, thank you. Ciao. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore you, I think. Come on then. At least we've unlocked the feather symbol now. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio! Ezio. Campiones, campiones, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a buttare. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. No better than discover the codex pages hidden there. You mean the hidden on the wall? The Spaniard. In plain view. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe. And leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. Oh, for God's sake, don't talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. Well, I wanted to go in there, so that's, that works out well. We come with zero florins. Well, this won't do. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Okay. 
probably don't have an ability to actually do that, so... Uh, map. Inventory, supplies, items. My love, I put these thoughts to paper in the hope that I might one day have the courage to share them with you. In time, you'll no doubt learn that I betrayed Giovanni, labeled him a traitor, and sentenced him to die. History will likely judge this to have been a matter of politics and greed. Know that it was not hate that forced my hand, but fear. When the Medici robbed us of all we owned, I found myself afraid. For you, for our son for the future. What hope in this world for a man without proper means? They offered me money, land, and title in exchange for my collaboration. And so this is how I came to betray my closest friend. However unspeakable the act, it seemed necessary at the time. And even now, looking back, I see no other way. Hmm. Familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Excellent. Mother, I have a feather for you. That might be the end of part three. We shall see. Okay, fourth 
philosophical codex pages. Oh, they just, they just, they just happen to be here? That's, I believe the phrase is convenient. Codex page is found in one of four. Find the philosophical codex pages and have them deciphered by the other vision to increase your max up. Well, that's fine. Just looking out for those missing statues. <laughs> have you seen a philosophical codex page just sitting around? I was looking at the symbol on the map, and when I was up above, it was like I somehow was level with it, and that was confusing. Something about codex pages. Statues are more important. I mean, they're not, but. There is a codex page. Oh, there's out various various outbuildings. Oh, you know, ones in there. Oh, for God's sake! Let's. Let's go out of here for the time being. Horse. the wrong way yeah. here. But frankly, yeah. hey, hey. I now want to check those outbuildings. This is there's something on there already. <laughs> A blasted feather! This isn't on the map. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, horse. is out of bounds too. Shh, horse, I'm opening box. Yeah, grabbing feathers. Horse, where have you gone? There you are. 
Don't run off. Can't get the equine staff these days, apparently. It's extremely nice, it's all left around. It really is. Shall we name this horse, chat? And don't say dirt, though. What is the name of this horse? What is the name of uh, Roger's horse? Yeah, Turbo, I'll cut that one off at the pass before anyone said anything. How are you doing anyway, my friend? A good stream previous to this? Got you a bit of a sweat on? Yes, I am agile. I could be agile for you if you like. But... Uh, the legend does not exist in the AC world, yeah. Well, as you know, Assassin's Creed is, is fictitious, fictitious circumstances and Turbo's, and uh, Derbo, I should say, is real. Check on Claudia. Why must I check on Claudia? Can't she just get on the things herself? Oh, Secrets Free is complete, actually, so... Interesting. Can I... Ah, there you are. Want to get in some practice? I'm gonna do some betting. Special moves you can unlock. Okay. Some piss weapons. Huh. Free fighting. Nah, yes. I won't bother. It's best we take a break. If I kill him, sorry, I'm just trying to break the game. Um, upstairs with a damn box. Look, I've got more feathers for you, mother. I've got more feathers. Everything's fine. I've got more feathers for you. Sis, where are you? Pain in the damn ass. <laughs> he did. Where is my sister? She downstairs, upstairs. She's not in here. Okay, that's better. Oh, is this where I get the information about actually business? Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un mostro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. 
I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this I got, place I got some travel, paintings for you. might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. Huh. Right. Uh, blacksmiths, renovations, what? Just page on the wall, blah, 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 blah. Models, seals, paintings, portraits of Ezio's targets, equipment chest. Uh, brothels, mines, shops. Uh, we've got a blacksmith and a doctor, and that's it at the minute. We got. How do we get these? Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? A presto, Ezio. Alright, it's. Talk to the villa's architect. Where is the villa's architect? Oh, he's here. That's helpful. Hello. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix anything. Look, of these I'll get buildings. you money. And if someone brought you money, eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Sir Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops. Yes, and yes, absolutely. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. I have, I have, oh, I have gold. You, I have gold. I can get more gold. It's there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great great grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of yep. people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? I know how an economy works. Okay. Uh, right, so we can uh, renovate pretty much anything, I think. The well... The thieves guild, the military banks, the church, the mo the mines of Moria, um, the brothel, <laughs> uh, a tailor, a doctor, a tinker, a spy, uh, and an art merchant. Well, well whatever. You know. um, it would be nice to have a bank here, you know. Let's get. So I've got. I can do sort of five thousand. I want to get. Uh, I want to do the bank tier one. Uh, I do want to get the brothel done because that is like a guarantee, real guarantee money. And the rest is like five hundred, and I haven't got the rest unfortunately because they. No. Buon viaggio. Bon viat Joe indeed. Okay, well, the architect allows you to renovate the buildings. This will increase the income. Wonderful. By the time you get back here, guys, it will be like preposterously, <laughs> preposterously done already. Um, so uh, plus four thousand five hundred on the value of the actual. Of the actual villa so far. Portraits of your slain targets are stored here. It's indeed Ezio's room. Okay, so that's, we've got, at least we've got confirmation this is Ezio's room. Mm, let's go see our uncle from Nintendo again. That's all we need to do. Uh. 
Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. My goodness. Uncle, who are these statues of people, including totally not Altair, behind there? This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I would I guess if you got enough collectibles, you might well be able My to get it somehow. Told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia. How very helpful. In tombs filled with treasure where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. Maybe. <laughs> In my younger days, I sought these six myself with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. Perhaps you will be better at side quests than I was. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. Come on, go. Uh, Darius. Where you? It would be nice, actually, uh, Amunet. It would be very nice, actually, if we got to play as these characters in other games. Just gonna say. Sorry, I didn't actually. Uh, Iltani, who poisoned Alexander the Great, supposedly. Uh, Leonidas, who stopped Caligula. And that's your lot. Well, Uncle, thanks for showing me all that. And then, yeah, there's to and then totally Altair there. Um. Altair is just chilling. And we will get that as if, if we if we play our cards right, we will get that armor. Uh, and then before the next game, that armor will be destroyed by a cannonball. Um, thus rendering all our efforts useless. So Yeah. Hmm. Oop. Right, where is it now? Statue! Statue! Statue, statue, statue! <laughs> Apollo, right. Now I've got to go back, you bastard. Also, where is this bank? <laughs> Come on. Is it this one or is this the... No, that's the Neptune and Pluto one. So, that one? There we go. Snickety snick. Yeah, that's a 
big chunk of change. That, that is a big enough chunk of change that we could can actually go back and get what I was after initially. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Salute, Sir Ezio. Shall Buongiorno. We look yes, look at the list. Uh, I wanted an art merchant. Art merchant has been renovated. Uh, Buon viaggio. Okay, fifteen hundred. So you'll notice Buongiorno. things start improving around the place. Shall we take a look at the list? Like tapestries and other bits and bobs. So, um, fifteen hundred. What, what can I do with fifteen hundred? Well, the tailor can be done, and the well can be done. Well, the well can't be done, but we can get the tailor then. Tailor, basic tailor. That's fine. Buon viaggio. That's increased our value quite significantly, actually. Have you got anything in here for me? No. I will buy paintings and other things. So we have technically completed three now. But it would be good to just continue onwards. Where's well, the artist? Treasure maps. Treasure map of here. That's helpful. Paintings. Not enough money. Can buy that one though. A pleasure. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't show statues, but maybe it was never going to. It would be classed as a treasure, so. A weekly bleed. Look, I don't want to be bled, thank you. I've already been bled once this week. Right, we will... I just saw something. There's treasure there, isn't there? Yeah. Um, so we want, to, we want to go on somewhere now. Are we in sequence four now? We are not. Well, I kind of wanted to continue until we got to sequence four, to be honest. So we do have those codex pages. Maybe a little bit later than I would do normally, but we do have those codex pages. Important things to do, like get feathers and other, and other bits. Florence, absolutely. Florence, we want to meet up with our good buddy. Hello. Actually, no, this is it. This is it. I'm guessing this is, will be the, the start of sequence four. The animus is very kindly rebuilding everything once again. Is it fishy to start? Nope, still nothing. Hey, we can open the door now! Ezio, you are still alive! Look at this place! The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Ha ha! You found another one! How exciting! More than one? Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. 
May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha, of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Practice several new assassination techniques while leading in our tinkers with the codex pages. Sure. Seven codex pages! <laughs> Hidden blade upgraded. One health square gained. Oh, so now we're going to get the drop down. We're going to get the pull off a ledge. And we're going to get the uh, assassinate from hiding spot. There we go. There we go. Congratulations, you're assassinated. That would explain why I couldn't do that earlier. Return to Leonardo's workshop. Absolutely. I'm going to get some money first, though. Ahem. I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. A fox. Shh. A pisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. There's some philosophical pages locations are revealed on the map. Okay, press me breach. Synced. All oh, various bits and bobs. Second hidden blade we've got now. The races have been unlocked. That's it from ledge skill. Hidden blade armor plate acquired. Our plate makes it possible to deflect weapon attacks with the hidden blade. Awesome. We're getting there. Uh, Kill two enemies at once with a double hidden blade. That makes things a lot easier. And of course we're back in Florence, so the money is gonna roll in. Yep, okay, we've officially started sequence four. So, in which case, I will leave it there. Okay, we just needed to make sure. Um, but that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll be back very, very soon with some more video game fun. Until that time, see you soon, guys. Do take care. Bye. <laughs>